Hey everyone, Jessica with Shortstack here. If you're interested in running a photo contest, one of the best ways to maximize contest participation, as well as boost visibility on Twitter or Instagram, is to make it a hashtag contest. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to build one, plus I'll share a few best practices as well as how to choose a winner. The first step in building a hashtag contest is to clearly define a goal. This example of a hashtag contest helped the Food Network build brand awareness and also gave them some content perfect to reuse in a future marketing campaign. Once you know what your endgame will be, it's time to create a hashtag. Think of a clever hashtag that's not too complicated, but unique enough to set your entries apart from random posts that can be pulled into your contest arbitrarily. A great example of this is from Goldfish Crackers, who used the hashtag GoForTheHandful to collect video entries of goldfish lovers attempting to hold more goldfish in their hand than pro basketball player Boban Marjanovic. Another great example is Packy's One Chip Challenge that challenged participants to eat just one of their Carolina Reaper chips and film it. These hashtags are specific enough so as not to pull an extra post not associated with the contest. If you were to use a hashtag such as love or contest, this could overload your hashtag feed with a sea of just random posts. The next step is very important and often overlooked. You'll need to create some rules or terms and conditions to go along with your contest. These are so important because they help protect your contest and your business from cheating and those looking to take advantage of you. If you're thinking right now that you're just not really great at writing legal stuff, don't worry. There's a link to a rules template in the description of this video. Once you have your rules or your TNCs written out, an easy way to append these to your contest is to display them on a landing page. Then you link that landing page from ads, posts, or however you're promoting your contest. Once your contest is underway, you'll need to view your entries. Participants are busy posting to social media with your hashtag, but how do you go about finding the entries they post? Well, you can search for hashtags to see your contest entries. Instagram makes this super easy by displaying all of your hashtag entries in an easy to see gallery, but also by allowing you to follow a hashtag. Twitter allows you to search for a hashtag, but the results are not nearly as straightforward as Instagram's. A better way to collect entries is by using a feed in contest software such as Shortstack. Shortstack allows you to easily build a hashtag feed to pull in entries and store them in a list. This makes viewing contest entries so simple no matter what platform you're pulling entries from. To boot, Shortstack makes choosing a winner simple and fair. You simply click choose winner, indicate how many winners you'd like to pick, and then let the software do the rest. This leads me to my last best practice when running a hashtag contest, and that's display the entries in a gallery, either in a landing page or embedded right on your website. This way, you'll not only increase exposure for both your contest and your brand, You'll be able to include other elements in your contest like voting. You can enable sharing so page visitors can share entries to other platforms such as Facebook or include an entry form to collect subscribers to your email list. If you have any questions or if you'd like to get started, you can visit us on the web at shortstack.com or send us an email at the team at shortstacklab.com. And don't forget to subscribe.